is a quick review of my Billingham 72 camera bag. Now, I recently received this, bought this on eBay, and uh, I just want to do a quick review of it, and I want to do kind of a comparison between it and the digital Hadley version of the Billingham camera bag, because I think it's, uh, it's relevant here, because you may be trying to decide, you know, which bag do I want to purchase, how are they different. Obviously, you know, size, they're different in size, but I want to go more into depth as to why you might want to purchase one over the other. Now, the 72 that I've got here is the sage and chocolate leather. It's got the clog bolt closure system, which is really nice. There's no, uh, it's nice and, you know, quiet opening and closing. It's got a canvas leather strap, and it's also removable, so you can remove the canvas leather strap here with these clog bolt systems because in the back, it's got a, a system or a uh, closed loop here that you can put on your belt, so you can actually carry this around on your belt. But this guy's, I mean, he's he's nice and uh, and, and sturdy. I mean, this is and it's fairly wide, um, very very protective. So I I wanted to make that clear the difference between it and the Hadley Digital. The Hadley Digital is a bit more uh, supple. It's not quite as stiff but I know, it's still going to protect your gear well. So on the 72, it's got the clog bolt system. This one's a bit tight because it's still fairly new. Now this unit, this like again, I said this bag I purchased on eBay for $59. Uh, the retail price on this is $139. The retail price on the Digital Hadley is $219. Uh, so if you open up the bag here, camera bag here, you've got the little flap and it comes with a divider but I'm using my bag for my Fuji camera system and I just don't have room for this divider so out it goes. I mean it's nice I guess if you had like a a smaller thin pocket camera but I I can't use that. So here we've got a uh, Fuji X-T1 and I've got a 35 millimeter lens on here. So you can't put the camera in face down like that. Just it's not it's the opening's not wide enough. So what you've got to do is put it in sideways like this. Now the lens hood won't fit, so the lens hood has to come off. So here's again it's a 35mm 1.4 lens and the Fuji X-T1. It'll slide in there real nice like that. That is the only way that I can get my camera in there. Now, just for the sake of uh, comparison, here's a uh, Pentax K5 with the 35mm lens. And I was really surprised. This actually fits. This will fit in there. I mean, it's a bit snug, but that will fit. But anything longer than a 2-inch lens on uh, my mirrorless camera system, it's just not going to work. This bag is, you know, it's going to be good for the Fuji X, you know, 105 series, 5 and, you know, uh, third and fourth series cameras will fit in here well. Maybe a Leica Q. But again, this is for, I think, just a simple uh, mirrorless camera with a, with, a, with a smaller lens. Now this has a front dump pocket, so you can put a battery in here, maybe a few other small components, but there's not a whole lot of room in here. This is basically just a day bag with a camera, um, single lens, small lens, no longer than two inches and a battery and a few extra supplies. But very, very, very nice bag. Now, if you compare that to the digital Hadley, you can actually fit the Fuji X-T1 straight down like that. So, I can put a 90 millimeter, a 50 to 2 millimeter lens on here, plus an additional lens in the side here or rocket blower or perhaps a, a flash with the same bag. So that's the big difference. With a digital Hadley, I can go straight down. With a 72, no way. Not going to work. It's got to go sideways. So this bag affords you, I should say the digital Hadley bag will afford you a couple extra, you know, two lenses at least, and a long lens because it'll fit straight down in the, in the bag there. I'm going to show you in just a second here. Okay, so here's the X-T1 with the Fuji 90. And if we look at that, that goes straight into the Hadley Digital 
like that, and then you can fit another lens on the inside here. Now I've already done a review of the digital, the Hadley Digital, but I thought it was kind of important to see both of these side by side, so that if you're trying to decide between one or the other, you know, which one's going to work for you. Um, I'm going to keep both, obviously. I like them both. I really like this color. It's just awesome. So again, if you just want a single camera, single lens, I think this is the way to go. If you want a longer lens, maybe an extra uh, and another extra lens, and it's got a, obviously another uh, dump pocket in here. You want to carry more stuff than the, had the digital Hadley is the way to go. And this this is not bad. I mean, this this is not that large, and it's actually a bit thinner if you compare that on the side to the 72. I mean, the 72 is it's a wide little pig. But it's 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 padded really well, and it will protect your camera. That's that's for sure. So yeah, both are very nice. Um, it's just to turn, you know, it just depends on what you want to use, or how what, what kind of camera you want to use in there. And now the strap on this guy is a bit thinner, but it's a smaller it's a smaller bag too, and it's adjustable. So you can adjust the strap to go cross cross length over your body or just over your shoulder. And again. It's got the, the uh, tab in the back there. You can put that on a belt loop. You can put that on, on your belt and carry it that way.